Hello everybody. I wanted to show you the newest feature in Trello, which is the view switcher. Uh, I think that's the official name for it. I kind of like to call it buttons for my boards. Uh, that's a little bit more fun. But um, yeah, it's a way to save views and quickly go back and forth. And not that it's a terrible challenge, but if you've ever been trying to navigate through your Trello boards and you're like, oh, wait a minute, I've got to click a button and then select which one I want. If I want to see a, a board or a, uh, if I want to see it in a table view or a calendar, not that it was that painful, but it's just gotten so much easier and you don't even have to say, hey, go click here. You can save these views. So for instance, you can, you know, uncheck all of these, whatever, and you start with your basic board view, but you're like, oh, wait, this is my Dublin trip. I want to see what it looks like on a map. Well, you can click this and check the map button and it adds a button there. So now you don't have to go to that arrow and click map. It's just a button right on your board that lets you get there. And let's say you're like, ooh, but I actually want the map one in front. You can just drag it and drop it and move it like that. So I thought that's a pretty cool feature to see. And I want to show you a couple other boards that I might be using it on. So my goals board, this is basically, if you've ever wondered, Brittany, how on earth do you keep track of all the different things you're doing? This is like my, hey, here's all the categories in my life and the things I want to do with it type of things. Um, and I have a different process for like pointing them out throughout the year and, and doing things. And each week I kind of say, hey, here's what's queued up. So added a calendar view on here. Now I just need to click the calendar button. And previously you would have had to, you know, click that, go select calendar, and then it pop up. Then you want to go back to your board. You'd have to go do the same thing. But now I can toggle back and forth just with the click. And like I said, you can easily kind of drag and drop the order. You can add as many of these as you want. If you want all of them up there, bring them all there. And people can, you know, just use their favorite views. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but you can also quickly access a board view by the URL. So let's say you always want to go to dashboard. You can add whatever the board URL is slash dashboard. So it's a good way people can like bookmark these views if they always want to be able to see one or the other. So I thought that was pretty cool. And one other one I want to show you that it's super handy on is my product hunt finds. So if you didn't already know this, I love product hunt. I love playing around on product hunt. And every day I, I go and check for new products. And I have a process with Pixie Bricks where I send all of that data like when I'm on um, product hunt, I find a product I liked, I send it to the board with some notes and things. And I don't have to touch anything. It's just automatically all organized in here by date. And you can quickly go to the timeline view and see my pick of the day, my favorite ones and my honorable mentions. And so I think this is like I said, just a pretty cool view. If you want to see boards in table view, that's another thing that was just released recently, because previously, you would have to have a workspace table where you have multiple boards or you know go to your workspace select a table and then select board but you can view it just like from here so for those of you who are missing that sort of spreadsheet feel you can easily add it back in here so yeah I'm curious what you all think about it if you're excited if you have any questions if something's not working right um definitely let me know I'd love to hear how you're planning to use it and uh, if you find it helpful or you know any any struggles you're having with it or how do I do this or that and I'm happy to help you out